doctors in private practice such as dentists are some of the most overworked and underpaid people in the world, especially if you calculate in the high education they have. The reason for that are manifold, but let me shade some light on it on one of them today. Hi, my name is Helmut Flash, and I'm a practice management consultant for about 30 some uh, years. And here is what I see. All right. Every, almost all small business owners, by the way, whether it's a car mechanic or a restaurant owner or whatever it may be, they have a similar uh, problem. And that is that they think that their professional knowledge, in case of a dentist pulling teeth, doing fillings, uh, crowns, implants, whatever it may be, is the most and most important thing. And while that stuff is very important and cannot be missing, it simply is only a part of a group of most important things. It's a package, ladies and gentlemen. And as more educated the people are, it looks like, as more they have been told, if you are a good doctor, it all will fall in place. If I would have a penny, a dollar, for every time a doctor whom I talked to kind of told me, the most important thing is good work. And if you do good work, people will come and people will refer. If I would have a penny for all of those, I would actually be rich. Now, here's the thing. Again, it's not that it is unimportant. It's just not the only thing. If you do bad dentistry, bad cooking, bad whatever, car mechanic, of course you will eventually crack, even if you know all the other parts of life and business um, very well. Why? Because there has to be a certain balance. It doesn't have to be 100% balanced and doesn't have to be balanced 100% or, or, or very heavy all the time. Uh, things do get out of balance. In fact, I might in this video tell you how out of balance uh, uh, you should actually bush it sometimes. So here's the thing. Let's take cooks, chefs. Oh my God, since it is part of my profession, part of what I do uh, and have done for a long time, they always think if they know how to cook, their restaurant will be full. Could be far from the truth. The best chefs, uh, they uh, uh, Jamie Oliver or whatever his name is, uh, they uh, Wolfgang Back, um, they the king of all of it, probably uh, Gordon Ramsay. With no doubt, they are good cooks. With no doubt. But let me tell you something. They are even better, or at least as good. Public relation guys, charismatic business in general, which means how to hire people, knowing where to put them in your organization, not just hiring. We, we're overworked, let's hire two people, and then thinking, or one person, and then thinking that automatically the workload will get done. Absolutely, positively not. You know, 99% of the time I notice when a dentist hires, let's just say one more receptionist, one more whatever, um, usually in the front office in some shape and form, and then he thinks, now it will be fine. No. Now, three instead of two or four instead of three people divide the work which was already done. There wasn't a department which really kind of like checks where people work, what they have to do, etc. It didn't work that way. So if those top chefs wouldn't be top public relation guys, top marketing guys, top business guys, um, and something else very important, please listen to these doctors, okay? And that is the ability to take shit, the ability to have pain, no pain, no gain. I am not one for a quotes and which you hang on the wall because if that shit would actually work, somebody like me would never be needed. Everybody would be doing fine. It is not that what's written on the wall or some whatever quote by whoever is wrong. It just doesn't seem to be grabbing people and making, doing something. They apply it the wrong way at the wrong time and usually they apply it never at all. It's just something nice to say. Um, but, okay, have you seen the movie Rocky? Rocky 3, 4, 5, I don't know. Where Sylvester Stallone, Balboa, kind of told his son, he was already 20, 30, whatever, he was a grown person, kind of like, hey, it's not all about how hard you can hit, how good you are in your profession, whatever that meant uh, to this guy. I think it was some insurance guy, some whatever, who cares. Um, but how much, how often do you get up? You know, if you get up one more time more often than your opponent, you have won. 
And in business and in life, it's no different. Ladies and gentlemen, life, business, love life, it has departments. And if you do not know those departments and then run them accordingly, you'll be not just missing out on a lot of gain, you will actually be probably suffering and not making it. And let me tell you one more thing, ladies and gentlemen. It, whatever the economy right now is, and most of us hear all kinds of weird things and have all kinds of maybe worries or not worries about where the politics, where the economy uh, takes us. Well, a whole bunch of where it takes us, we can simply not avoid. But what we can avoid is how much shit we can take, how much pain we can take and keep going, Okay, how much we can organize ourselves and how much we can do the right thing. Okay, look, um, a girl and a boy falling in love, love alone will not get them through life. And a girl and a boy falling in love and having money for whatever goddamn reason alone will not get them through life. You know, love can, however, be said will solve all problems. But that's the love to succeed, the love to overcome problems, the love to do what you have to do, to learn what you have to learn in order to then make it. You know, when a family father says, well, I did that all for you guys. I worked day and night for you guys. Yeah, he thinks he's responsible and he is. Boy, he does work. He even believes what he says. I get it. I 100% get it. But what he did miss is he didn't put enough attention on learning the parts which he apparently doesn't know. What he hasn't uh, they um, into consideration is that maybe he goes about running his head against the wall the wrong way because running your head against the wall doesn't doesn't work so well for us human beings. So it's not about I need to go from A to B straight. Yeah, we all like to go straight, of course. But sometimes you have to make a million of detours to get there. And a guy who is not able, not willing to go and take those detours, not willing to learn everything to go through these detours, to make detours, to go to the detour, to go to the detour. I hope I make my point here. That's the guy who in the end will lose out. Unfortunately, if you look at the world, that's a huge, 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 huge percentage. All right? And it doesn't take much to get there. So, as I said, 35 years I have been consulting dentist doctors as well as other large and small businesses, mostly in America, all over the world, however. Okay, give us a call, find out what that could be. It takes an hour, by the way, without getting on some type of service, some type of help, some type of directional guidance, without learning something, you will have a business ache, you know, a money ache, a not being happy ache, just like the guy who doesn't go to a dentist will have some type of ache and, and some type of pain all the time. Um, it doesn't get fixed without doing something. I hope I got this across. However, should you not sign up with us, would, first of all, it would put you in the majority. It would 100% put you in the majority. Our closing ratio, our case acceptance ratio is not 80 or 90%. No, 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 no. It's, it's kind of the other way around. However, even if you don't sign up, if I haven't, uh, you know, been able to make it clear to you that maybe we can help you, maybe even I said I can't because it's, I see that, that I can't help you. I will tell you that too. Um, then you still love it because I still will have given you some type of direction, some type of um, data with which you in the future can kind of slowly in your own base do something about it. Some of the things you might implement without anything else, simply by what I tell you in that hour or so. And some of the stuff down the road, a week, a month, a year, You'll be like, ah, okay, maybe I should. You would get some type of help. Come to us and see how you can build a foundation which actually will get you quite fast, but not overnight, to where you need and want to go. And so that you can actually live your life while making money. Doctor, give us a call. Ciao, ciao.